Reynolds apparatus theory depending on relative magnitudes of viscous and inertial forces flow can occur in two different manner like laminar flow and turbulent flow in laminar flow viscous effects are predominant than the inertial effects but when shear and normal stresses are added with the increase in velocity of flow the flow is turbulent the motion is laminar or turbulent according as the value of r is less than or greater than than a certain value if a liquid such as water is allowed to flow through a glass tube and if one of the liquid filament is made miscible by means of dye then by watching this filament we may get insight into the actual behavior of the liquid as it moves along or the water in the supply tank has stood for several hours to allow it to come to completely to rest the outlet valve is slightly open the outlet valve is slightly open the center thread of dye carried along by the slow stream of water in the glass tube is seen to be nearly as steady and well defined as an indicator column in an alcohol thermometer but when as a result of further opening of the valve the water velocity passes a specific limit a change occurs the rigid thread of dye begins to begin begins to break up and to group momentarily ill defined the movement of the dye deviates from its straight line pattern corresponds to, to the condition when the flow is the conduit is no longer in laminar condition the discharge q flowing in the conduit at this moment is measured and the reynolds number re is equal to 4q by pi dv in which d is the diameter of the conduit and nu is is the kinetic viscosity of water is computed this is a lower critical reynolds number finally at high velocities the dye mixes completely with the water and the colored mixture fills the tube objectives to study different flow conditions second to obtain the reynolds number in different flow conditions experimental setup this is dye this is dye container this is supply tank this is perpex tube this is valve to control flow this is filament or dye this is bell mounted entrance this is supply tank this is reynolds apparatus for demonstration of the laminar and turbulent flow suggested experimental work step 1 note down the relevant dimension as a diameter perpex tube area of collecting tank room temperature etc step 2 by maintaining suitable amount of steady flow in the perpex tube open inlet of the dye tank so that dye stream moves as a straight line in the tube step 3 the discharge flowing in the perpex tube is recorded step 4 this procedure is repeated for other values of discharge step 5 by increasing the velocity of flow in the perpex tube again open the inlet of the dye tank so that dye dye stream begins to break up in the tube which shows the fluid is no more in the laminar condition hence transition stage occurs step 6 the discharge flowing in the perpex tube is recorded this procedure is repeated for for other values of discharge step 8 on further increase in velocity of flow in the perpex tube again open the inlet of dye tank so that dye mixes completely in the tube so that the dye base is completely in the tube which shows the fluid is no more in the transition stage hence turbulent flow occurs in the tube step 9 the discharge flowing in the perpex tube is recorded step 10 this procedure is reported for other values of discharge results and discussion calculate discharge in different flow conditions also calculate the notes number for different flow conditions sample data sheet inner diameter conduit d mm is equal to 25 Room temperature theta degrees Celsius is equal to kinetic viscosity of water new centimeter square per second is equal to 1.14 into 10 ratio minus 4 area of collected tank centimeter square serial number discharge measurement initial centimeter final centimeter time taken seconds discharge q centimeter cube per second r is equal to 4q by pi dv apparatus for verification of bernoulli's theorem objective to verify bernoulli's theorem experimentally 
नोट नोट दिस इज इनफ्लो दिस इज सप्लाई टैंक दिस इज पिजो पिजोमीटर ट्यूब दिस इज परफेक्ट स्ट्रक्ट दिस इज स्पोर्टिंग स्टैंड ऑपरेटर्स फॉर द वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ बर्नॉलेज थ्योरम दिस इज आउटफ्लो दिस इज ऑपरेटर्स फॉर वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ बर्नॉलेज थ्योरम द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप कंसिस्ट ऑफ हॉर्जोंटल परफेक्ट स्ट्रक्ट और स्मूथ वेरिएबल क्रोस एक्शन ऑपरेटर्स ऑफ वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ बर्नॉलेज थ्योरम द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप कंसिस्ट ऑफ हॉर्जोंटल परफेक्ट स्ट्रक्ट और स्मूथ वेरिएबल क्रोस एक्शन और कन्वर्जन एंड डाइवर्जन टाइम द सेक्शन इज फोर्टी मिलीमीटर इंटू फोर्टी मिलीमीटर एट द एंट्रेंस एंड द एग्जिट एंड फोर्टी मिलीमीटर क्रॉस ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर एट द मिडल द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ डक्ट इज नाइनटी सेंटीमीटर द पीजियोमेट्रिक प्रेशर पी एट द लोकेशन ऑफ द प्रेशर टाइपिंग इज मेजर्ड बाई मीन्स ऑफ इलेवन पीजियोमेट्रिक ट्यूब्स इंस्टॉल्ड एट एन इक्वल डिस्टेंस ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर अलॉन्ग द लेंथ ऑफ कंड्यूट द ड्यूट इज द डक्ट इज कंडक्टेड विद सप्लाई टैंक एट इट्स एंट्रेंस and and exit condition and exit and ends the duct is connected with supply tanks uh, at its entrance and exit end with means of uh, varying the flow rate a collecting tank is used to measure the actual discharge this theory consider friction less flow along a variable area duct the law of conservation of energy states for an inviscid compressible irrotational and the steady flow along a streamline the total energy or head remains the same this is called bernoulli's equation this is graphical presentation of bernoulli's theorem this is z1 this is p1 by w This is v1 square by 2g. This is v2 square by 2g. This is p2 by w. This is z2. Any datum. Z3. This is p3 by w. This is v3 square by 2g. This is c. This is graphical representation of Bernoulli's theorem. The total head of flowing fluid consists of pressure head, velocity head, and the elevation head. Hence. P1 by W plus V1 square by 2G plus Z1 is equal to P2 by W plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2, where P, V, and Z refers to pressure, velocity, and position of the liquid relative to same datum at any section. Suggested experimental work. Note on the piezometric distance from the inlet. section of the perpex duct step 2 note down the cross section area perpex duct at each of the piezometric apping points the datum head is stated as constant throughout the duct step 4 by maintaining the suitable amount of steady head or nearby steady head conditions in the supply tanks there establish a, a steady non uniform flow in the conduit The discharge flowing in the conduit is recorded together with the water levels in each in each piezometric tubes. Step six. This procedure is repeated for other values of discharge. Results and discussions. If V is the velocity of the flow at a particular section of the duct, and Q is the discharge, then by continuity equation, V is equal to Q by area of section. Second, calculate velocity head and total head. Plot piezometric head. P by W plus Z, comma velo velocity head V square by uh, V square by 2G, total head P by W plus Z plus V square by by 2G. Versus distance of piezometric tubes from same reference point. Sample data sheet. Area of collecting tank centimeter is equal to. Increase in depth of water centimeter time second discharge centimeter cube per second. Tube number distance from inlet section centimeter area of a C over S of conduit a centimeter square velocity of flow centimeter per second V is equal to Q by a centimeter per second 
वी स्क्र बाय टू जी सेंटीमीटर पी बाय डब्ल्यू प्लस जेड सेंटीमीटर पी बाय डब्ल्यू प्लस जेड प्लस वी स्क्र बाय टू जी सेंटीमीटर कमेंट्स सिंस कंट्यूट इज होरिजोंटल द टोटल एनर्जी एट एनी सेक्शन विद रेफरेंस टू डेटम लाइन ऑफ कंड्यूट इज इज सम ऑफ पी बाय डब्ल्यू एंड वी स्क्र बाय टू जी हेयर डब्ल्यू इज द वे डेंसिटी ऑफ लूड एंड जी इज द एसोसिएशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी वन कैन कंपेयर द वैल्यूज ऑफ टोटल एनर्जी एट डिफरेंट सेक्शन एंड कमेंट अबाउट द कॉन्स्टेंसी ऑफ एनर्जी इन कन्वर्जिंग एंड डाइवर्जिंग कंड्यूट एक्सपेरिमेंट थ्री पाइप फ्रिक्शन ऑपरेटर्स एम टू स्टडी द वेरिएशन ऑफ फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर एफ फॉर ट्रबल एंड फ्लो इन कमर्शियल पाइप थ्योरी वेन लिक्विड फ्लोज थ्रू ए पाइप अंडर प्रेशर सम हेड इज लास्ट ऑल एंड फ्लो इज थ्यूरी वेन लिक्विड फ्लोज थ्रू ए पाइप अंडर प्रेशर सम हेड इज लोस इन ओवरकमिंग द फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द पाइप ऑल एंड फ्लोइंग लिक्विड द फ्रिक्शनल रजिस्टेंस ऑफर टू फ्लो डिपेंड्स ऑन टाइप ऑफ फ्लो मोस्टली द फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूड्स इन मोस्टली द फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूड्स इन द पाइप लाइज इन टबुलेंट जोन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन द लाज ऑफ फ्लूड फ्रिक्शन फॉर टबुलेंट फ्लो आर एज अंडर द फ्रिक्शन रजिस्टेंस इन द केस ऑफ टबुलेंट फ्लो इज प्रपोर्शन टू ब्लोस्टी रेस्ट वार एन वेर एन वेरीज फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट सेवन टू 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 पॉइंट जीरो सेकेंड इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ प्रेशर थर्ड प्रपोर्शन टू द डेंसिटी ऑफ द फ्लोइंग लिक्विड फोर्थ स्लाइटली affecting by the variation of temperature of the fluid fifth proportional to the area of the surface in contact sixth dependent on the nature of the surface in contact the general accepted formula governing turbulent flow in the pipes may be summarized may be summarized as follows by darcy wisbach formula for head loss due to friction hf is equal to fl v square over 2 gd Uh, then H F is equal to eight F L Q square over pi square G D five, where F is known as friction factor, where which is dimensionless quantity. L is the length of pipe, V is the mean velocity of the flow in pipe, Q is the discharge through pipe, G is the acceleration due to gravity, and D is the diameter of the pipe. Apparatus apparatus consists of pipe circuit through which five pipes of a geometrical index of a different diameters like. 15 mm, 20 mm, 25 mm, 32 mm, and 40 mm diameter are provided with means of bearing flow rate. Each pipe is provided with two pressure tappings at certain distances apart. A U-tube differential manometer is provided to find the difference of the head between two pressure tappings. The the tappings may be connected to a manometer turn by turn. A collecting tank is used to find the discharge of water through the pipes. suggested experimental work step 1 note down the relevant dimension as the diameter of the pipe length of the pipe between the pressure tappings area of collecting tank etc step 2 pressure tappings of a pipe are kept open for other pipes it is kept closed step 3 open the inlet flow control valve and regulate the valve to allow a steady flow through the pipe check if there is any air bubble in the manometer tube if so remove the same Step four: The flow rate was adjusted to its maximum value by managing suitable amount of steady flow in the circuit. The time is allowed to stabilize the levels in the manometer tube. Step five: The discharge flowing in the circuit is recorded together with water levels in left and right limbs of manometer tube. Step six: The flow rate is reduced in stages by means of flow control value. And the discharge and readings of manometer are recorded. Step seven: This process is repeated by closing the pressure tappings of this pipe and for opening of another pipe. Pointer, theta dash, movable mass, removable stirrups, flat bottom vessel. The experimental setup consists of the pontoon, the bottom vessel which is allowed to float in the MS tank, having a transparent side. Remove steel stirrups. are placed in the model for the purpose of changing the weight of the vessel by means of pendulum consisting of a weight suspended to a long portion the angle of tilt theta can be measured on a graduated air for tilting the 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 ship model a cross bar for tilting the ship model a cross bar with a with a z 
move hangers is fixed on the model pendulum and graduated arc are suitably fixed at the center of the crossbar aim to determine experimental height of the float flat bottom pontoon theory a body flo flo floating in fluid is subjected to the flowing system of forces first the downward force of gravity acting on each particle that goes to make up the weight of the body w e acting through center of gravity g the upward bent force of the fluid acting on the various elements of the submerged surface of the floating fluid fe acting through the center of buoyancy b for a body to be in equilibrium on the liquid surface the two forces w e and fe lie in the same vertical line that is these two forces must be collinear equal and opposite when the vessel has been fitted through an angle theta the center of gravity c of the body g usually remains unchanged in its position but b that is center of buoyancy will generally change its position thus w e and f b forms a couple the line of uh, action of uh, f b in the new position cuts the axis of the body at m which is the matter center and the distance cm is called the matter centric height the matter center height is a measure of the static stability of floating bodies the matter centric height can obtained by equating the writing couples and applied movement wm less than xc over we plus wm tangent theta where w is the weight of the vessel wm the weight of the unbalanced mass causing the movement on the body xt is the distance of the unbalanced mass from the center of the crossbar procedure note uh, down the relevant dimension as area of collecting tank mass density of meter etc note down the water level in the tank when the pontoon is not in the tank pontoon is allowed to float in the tank note down the reading of the water level in the tank mass of the pontoon can be obtained by the help of arcondis principle position of the uh, position of the unbalanced mass weight of the unbalanced mass and the angle of the heel can be noted down fifth the procedure is repeated while changing the weight of the pontoon by changing the number of strips in the pontoon result the matter centric height of the float bottom vessel comes out to be as is equal to precautions operator should be in the level condition during the whole experiment second reading must be taken in the steady condition of the water so as to avoid any kind of error in the whole system or calculation third unbalanced mass must be measured by taking care that water disturbance should be minimum in that case aim experiment 5 Experiment five aim to obtain surface profile of free vertex flow. Free vertex flow. This surface profile. This is depth Gauss. Theory. When water flows out of a vessel to a central hole in the base, a free vortex is formed. A degree of rotation being independent in initial disturbance, the water moves spirally towards the center with streamlined motion. so that the lighting losses caused by viscosity the energy per unit mass remains constant if while the mass is rotating the central hole is plugged the flow of water in the vertical plane ceases and the motion becomes one of the simple rotation in the horizontal plane red is known as the free cylindrical uh, vortex under steady condition each particle will move with the me same angle of velocity and this will not be any latent motion between the fluid particles streamline streamline for such a flow will be concentric circles and a total energy is constant along a streamline but the varies in 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 from one streamline to another note this is theory then apparatus open transparent cylinder which is stationary at the base at the end bottom center of a graduated carriage on orifice discharge has been given to create free water power supply single phase 1220 volt 50 hertz 5 ampere water supply drain procedure uh, procedure operator is clean and made dust free and then drain well your close the tank is filled to 3 by 4th of its height and then open control well is open All the switches are checked to be on-off position. 
now main power supply and pump part is shown flow control value is now operated and the oil fish at the bottom of the tank is operated so that water can be discharged outside at steady rate now surface profile readings are, are la la later on when steady state is reached and surface elevation that r is equal to 0 is taken as the datum for all readings result the surface profile is shown precautions dustry apparatus should be ensured that clean water be used oiling and greasing of the parts should be done at regular intervals aim to determine the head loss coefficient for different pipe fittings experiment 6 apparatus for determination lo losses in pipe fittings experimenter said that the experiment setup consists of a pipe circuit of 25 mm diameter fitted with flowing fittings with mean of varying flow rate large band sudden enlargement of 50 mm diameter small band sudden sudden contraction from 50 mm to 25 mm diameter pressure tap is provided on the tip stream and downstream ends of each of these fittings to enable the measurement of pressure head difference across the fittings to compute the head loss through the fittings the pressure tappings are connected to a differential manometer a collecting tank is used to find the actual discharge of water through the pipe fittings theory in long pipes the major losses of energy in pipe flow is due to friction while the minor losses are those which are caused on account of the change in the velocity of apparatus for determination of loss in pipe fittings aim to determine the minor head loss coefficient for different pipe fittings experimental setup the experimental setup consists of a pipe circuit of 25 mm diameter fitted with the following fittings with mean of varying flow rate large band sudden enlargement to 50 mm diameter small band fourth sudden construction from 50 mm diameter to 25 mm diameter pressure tap is provided on tip stream and downstream ends of each of these fittings to enable the measurement of pressure head difference across the fittings to compute the head loss through the fittings the pressure tappings are connected to a differential manometer a grinding tank is used to find the actual discharge of water through the pipe fittings theory in long pipes the major loss of energy in pipe flow is due to friction while the minor losses are those which are caused on account of the change in the velocity of flowing fluid either in magnitude or direction losses due to change in cross section bends walls and fittings of all types are categorized as minor losses in short pipes above losses may sometimes outweigh the friction losses the minor energy head loss hl in the terms of velocity head can be expressed as HL is equal to K into V square by 2G where K, where K is a loss of coefficient C which is practically constant at high Reynolds number for a particular fluid geometry B is the velocity of fluid in the pipe and G is the into gravity however for a sudden enlargement of the section the simultaneous application of continuity Bernoulli's and momentum equation showed at HT is equal to K V minus V square by 2G where V and Vt are, are the velocity of flow in the smaller and, and larger diameter respectively. Celestial so, experiment of work or procedure. Step 1. Note down the relevant dimension of each dimension fittings, area of cladding tank etc. Step 2. Pressure tappings of fittings are kept open. While for other fittings it is kept closed. Step 3. The flow rate is adjusted to its maximum value. By maintaining suitable amount of steady flow in the pipe circuit, there establishes a steady non-uniform flow in the circuit. Time is allowed to stabilize the levels in the tool in the manometer. Step 5. The discharge flowing in the circuit is recorded together with the water levels in the tool in the manometer. Step 6. The flowing is reduced in, sta in stages by means of flow control value and the discharge and the readings of manometer are recorded step 7 the procedure is repeated by closing the pressure tapings of the fitting together with other two fittings and get o opening for of another left fitting result and discussion step 7 the procedure 
is repeated by closing the pressure tab means of this fitting together with other two fittings and for openings of another lead fitting. Results and discussion fill out the data sheet, calculate the discharge difference of manometer reading and K loss coefficient for different pipe fittings for different sets of manometer. Third, find the average loss coefficient K precautions. Operator should be in the level condition. Reading must be taken in in study on or nearby study conditions. Third, there should be no air bubble in the manometer. Experiment 7. Stokes law operators. Theory. When an object is placed in a flow, fluid flow, a force is added on the object by the flow. This force is due to the frictional effects combined with the difference in pressure on the two sides of the object. The component of this force uh, f the component of this force in the flow direction is called a drag force and they are expressed as F is your CD into A into rho V square by 2 where F is the drag force, CD is the coefficient of drag which is the mean velocity of the body through the stationary fluid A is the projected area of the object of the plane normal direction of flow and rho is the bar density of the fluid the coefficient of drag CD varies with Reynolds number for a given shape of the object one can expect similar behavior to hold in a case in which the fluid is stationary but the object is moving. Consider a sphere of diameter d falling in an infinite fluid whose mean density is rho with a constant velocity v called the terminal velocity. The drag force adjusted by the fluid is equal to the submerged weight of the sphere. Thus, f is your cd into pi d square by 4 into rho v square by 2 is equal to pi by is equal to pi by 8 pi by is equal to pi by 6 d cube g into rho s minus rho f where rho s and rho f are the mass densities of the materials of the sphere and the fluid respectively however the fall velocity of this sphere is such that the Reynolds number re defined as vd by rho is less than 0 0.2 then a drag force as obtained by Stokes by solving the equation of motion Navier Stokes Stokes equation is expressed as f is equal to 3 pi d mu v from equation 1 and 2 for re less than 0 0.2 cd is equal to 24 by re the above equation hold good only for spherical particle falling in an infinite fluid medium if the spherical particle falls in a finite fluid medium then the, observe, then the observed fall velocity v is corrected using the following expression in order to get the fall velocity corresponding to infinite fluid medium v is equal to v dash into 1 plus 2.4 d over d dash where d dash is the diameter of the container